Hello, everyone. I'm Wendy Myers of MyersDetox.com. Welcome to the Myers Detox podcast. On my site and on this show, we talk about every topic related to heavy metal toxicity, chemical toxicity, and EMF toxins as well. And that's why I had my friend Lloyd Burrell come on the show to discuss just that. But, you know, Lloyd's an EMF expert, but we're also going to be discussing why it's more important than ever to learn about your body's energy field and how other non-native energies like EMF from your wireless router, from your computer, your cell phone appliances and cell phone towers affect your body. And we'll also be discussing, you know, different topics around bioenergetics and energy fields and how EMF throws a wrench in your body's communication system that's in the energy field. And more importantly, we talk about what you can do to counter the EMF in our environment by simply addressing the body's energy field. And he's hosting a Healing with Vibration Summit where he and a panel of 50 different experts, including myself, talk about just that all these different solutions to address your body energetically that also happen to you know minimize the impact of emf as well so tons and tons of tips on the healing with vibration summit.com but i know you guys listening to this show are very concerned about toxins the level of toxins that you have in your body and not everyone can afford testing and whatnot so i created a quiz that after taking this quiz, you get your results that discuss your relative levels of toxins you have in your body based on your lifestyle habits and diet. And so you can go take that quiz at heavymetalsquiz.com, only takes a couple of minutes. And afterwards, you get a free video series that helps to enlighten you on all types of topics related to detox. You know, how long does it take to detox? What kind of testing is best? Where do I start with detox? And so, totally free video series that I created for you guys after you take the quiz at heavymetalsquiz.com. So on this show today with Lloyd Burrell, we're going to be talking about why the topic of EMF must include how the body works with communication by the body, the body's energy field and how the body's energy field controls the physical body. And we'll talk about some of the signs and symptoms of EMF sensitivity. And we'll also learn about some top strategies to protect your body's energy field from EMF. And so one day in 2002, a long time ago, Lloyd Burrell answered his cell phone and soon after developed highly debilitating symptoms from all different types of electromagnetic devices in his home and his workplace. He was became very, very ill. And he went to multiple medical professionals who couldn't help him. Lloyd wasted thousands of dollars on solutions that didn't work. And it took him nearly 10 years to recover his health. He's been on quite a journey. And he's now made it his life's mission to raise awareness about the dangers of electromagnetic fields or EMF and share the remarkable discoveries he's made on his journey. Lloyd's a regular speaker at online events, podcasts, radio shows, and hosts his own EMF Health podcast. He's the author of two eBooks on EMFs and creator of the EMF Health Summit and now the Healing with Vibration Summit. His latest book, EMF Health Guide, is available at all good bookshops. And Lloyd is married, has two grown-up children, lives in sunny southwest France. And you can find Lloyd at electricsense.com and his new summit, healingwithvibrationsummit.com. Lloyd, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Wendy. So tell us about your path focusing on healing with vibration and EMFs. What you, what got you started in all this? Yeah, well, so it's really this story with, with EMFs, this whole experience, um, just which came out of the blue, this reaction to my cell phone, this sort of bewilderment around it, not only with myself, but with the, the medical establishment and this sort of lack of solutions and this realization that came from that so yeah a lot and a lot of 
uh, distress, obviously, and, you know, I was in a bad way, to, you know, and it lasted a long time, and, like, nobody could help me. Uh, so that, that, that kind of puts you in a position of, of really kind of digging deep, which is what I did. And I discovered that there was this thing called EMF sensitivity after, like, over two years of thinking I was going crazy. And from this understanding that there was, there was this thing that wasn't only me and I wasn't going crazy and there were other people like me, then I made the realization that everybody is actually uh, sensitive to EMFs. It's just that some can feel it and some cannot. And that was really by doing my homework, that's to say, looking at the research, and that became very clear and there's a lot of studies on this. So it's just, you know, so EMFs are impacting everybody. Some people can feel it, some people can't. And I can still, I don't get the debilitating symptoms, but I can still feel it, uh, these energies from time to time. And then from that came the next realization, and this was just a series of realizations, if you want, that actually it wasn't about EMFs particularly, it was that I was sensitive to energy and um, very sensitive to energy and always have been. And it was like really the penny dropped. And I, and I, and I, and I sort of, then I began to think back over my life, different things which had happened to me. And a lot of things made sense about how, you know, I've always been kind of intuitive, um, sort of knowing, being able to sort of feel people, understand people at some level, some non-verbal level, which has always kind of been a bit, just a bit bizarre. I never thought anything of it, but just a whole load of things, you know, picking things up, which, which other people don't pick up. And then from that, this, well, this realization that actually everybody is sensitive to energy, again, by looking at the research and this understanding that we are actually energetic beings. So this whole story with EMFs is just, is actually an energy story. And EMFs are just another kind of energy. And it just so happens that this is rather a large problem now in our, in our, in our society, in our world, which few people are aware of and um, yeah, and this, so the summit was bringing all that together. And it's this, on the one hand, protecting people, offering, um, explaining to people the, all the different ways that we can be protected from EMS, which I've been doing from a lot, for a long time. But I've, I've gone further looking at the uh, energy aspects of protection. So that's on the one hand, the protection. And then on the other hand, it's, it's, it's all the things that we can do to utilize energy, to work with energy. And that means kind of understanding this phenomena a little bit and, and, and what this actually means and, you know, how we are energetic beings. And that's, these, these are the themes that, that uh, we've been exploring in the summit, which has just been amazing. Just been having a ball, as I was saying before we came on. I've just been loving it, absolutely loving it. Yeah, and you're hosting the Healing with Vibration Summit. And I, I was so surprised and thrilled to hear that you were put, hosting a summit like this because I, I'm exactly where you are, where I start, started about four years ago learning about uh, energy medicine, but, uh, you, know, uh, you know, having an awareness about energy medicine. And you're right, you can't have the conversation about EMF well, or electromagnetic fields from cell phone and wireless internet and your router without also talking about how the body works, which it works through energy. It communicates through energy and EMF interferes in that. So I love that you're, you're having this conversation. Can you talk a little bit about the summit and things that people can look forward to? Yeah. So it started off very modestly. I was reaching out to people. So I got this kind of, this idea of how I was going to approach this. Like I say, the, 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 the twin themes of protection from EMFs and also this notion of, of using energy, how to use energy, how to work with energy, all the different ways. And I'd already, you know, this wasn't really that new because I actually wrote a book in 2012 on this very theme. It was the first book I wrote and um, it was an ebook. and it took me a year to write this book and uh, I laid it all out there pretty much and what I'm talking about now is well I've gone further but that's to say you know I've been on this theme for a long long time and with the summit the beautiful thing is it, it well it just snowballed it, this this summit just I just it just grew organically and it, we went from guest to guest 
And so I had this idea, okay, that's what we're, you know, these are the things we're going to be talking about. And then really, I just kind of let the universe do, do its stuff. And every time I was speaking to somebody, I was saying, listen, do you know, you know, I've really enjoyed this. And do you know anybody that could fit into this conversation? And this is how, you know, I carried on. And at the end of it, we have 50 speakers and 50. Um, so this is composed of researchers, scientists, building biologists, medical doctors, osteopaths, chiropractors, energy practitioners, energy healers, really just everybody and anybody with a certain competence in this. And the, so it, it, it's about understanding and then about, you know, what do we do with that understanding? And everybody, every speaker, as you know, because you were invited, <laughs> but you spoke twice. <laughs> um, everybody was sharing three tips. So 50 speakers, yeah, 150 tips minimum because some actually shared more. So there's a lot of tips. It's everybody sharing three tips on healing with vibration. And that's really what I wanted it to be is, and there are, obviously there is a little bit of overlap and some people did kind of say the same thing, but it's always, you know, I don't really have a problem with that because nobody says everything the same way. And there's always like another understanding to be gained from this kind of thing. And it does reinforce certain points which are fundamentals. And there are some really fundamental points, uh, you know, with regard to this, this topic. Yeah, I mean, with the growing threat of EMF and the increasing amounts of EMF in our environment, it's so important to be having this conversation and learning not only about, because a lot of people focus on their physical body. How do I, you know, eat and, you know, diet and exercise to be healthy? But uh, a thing that I love that you're so passionate about is bringing awareness about how another way our body works which is through vibration, which is through the body's energy field. And uh, people, I really feel like need to learn about this. They need to learn about how their body works in this way, how mm -hmm. to, you know, approach their body in that way when they're looking at different modalities to get better. Because I, I, I can't tell you how many people I've encountered in my practice and in myself also trying a lot of different things physically that supplementation or whatever and it's they're trying different protocols and just keep hitting a brick wall and for years not getting better and then finally trying something some energy medicine protocol or bioenergetics and having profound shifts um can you talk about the kind of what our our energy field is and just any thoughts on that yeah so you know so there's some kind of key concepts to understand here and one of them is is the biofield we talk a lot about this and we had uh, dr beverly rubik on who actually uh, because so the biofield is this it's this official term because i've always i mean when i wrote my book i actually talked about the aura i wasn't aware of this so this sort of energy which is around us and that's probably the more common term but biofield maybe not everybody's heard of that but it's to say that there's this you know, we're surrounded by this field of energy, this, this, this field, field of organized informational energy. There is an intelligence which we're interacting with on a physical, so we can see like this, this physical being, we're actually multi-level beings. And it's all about vibration, different vibrations and different densities. And at the most dense, we've got this physical being, and then we've got these other bodies. And the, again, the science behind this, this emotional body, mental body, uh, energetic body, spiritual body, dimensional body, and different researchers are giving them different names, but we've got these different bodies. And so we've got this, we've got this biofield, which again, I say it's a, a term which is officially recognized since 1994. You know, like a long time ago, and yet nobody's heard of it, but officially recognized by the U.S. National Institutes of Health. And this whole energy thing, it's like, okay, yes, yeah, so, but, but so what? You know, okay, we've got a biofield, but so what? Well, the so what is that this biofield is actually governing what's going on, your physical, everything else, what I've just said there, you know, all these different states of being. But um, notably, our physical state of being, you know, this, this physical body, because it all kind of trickles down uh, to that. So this biofield is governing that. The biofield, and what governs the biofield? Bio the mind. 
So there's this interaction between the mind and between the body and be, between the spirit as well. And when we say spirit, and that sounds a bit, but uh, what we're saying is, you know, our place, our place in the universe, you know, like it, with everything that's going on, I think people maybe, maybe, um, maybe I'm, this is wishful thinking, but they're kind of thinking, I mean, it, it just, it's just getting, it's just getting all a bit ridiculous. You know, the whole, this crisis, which is going on this health crisis and the way it's been dealt with and what it's doing to people's lives. And, you know, we were supposedly um, protecting people by this social distancing and masks and so on and so forth. A long, long debate, but, and it, you know, there might be positive uh, benefits from that, but boy, is there a lot of negative, negative to that you know doing all those things doing all these things which the authorities are telling us to do i mean not just telling us forcing us when there is there are so many other ways to to tackle this and there's so many you know there's cl very clearly like just the the immune system is barely talked about and obviously you know if we're talking about biofield governing health mind governing biofield uh, biofield governing biochemistry biochemistry governing immune system so why aren't we talking about this which is really important which is we've got all this science and it is science going back you know over 100 years like to the mid 1850s 1830s when we've uh, first got talk of this of bio uh, bioenergetics we've got this where the, the, the scientists are first seeing this that we are actually electrical beings they're seeing this electrical force and then when they're seeing this electrical force moving so this electrical potential should i say and then when they're seeing it moving then we're seeing there's the the they were calling it they were giving that the term that bio um, magnetics so that's when a current what's when a uh, an electric field or current moves then we get this magnetic field so we've got this electric field and this magnetic field and clearly you know, you go into hospital and for your brain, you have the uh, EEG or the ECG for, for your heart. Uh, we've got all these tools which conventional medicine is using, which it's thanks to this bio, bio, bioelectrical nature of ourselves. And yet we're only kind of barely pulling back the curtain on all the possibilities, everything w uh, which we can do with this. And this is, this is where I'm going with my summit is to you know, really open wide the curtain so that people can go in and use these topics and a little bit of understanding uh, these theories, the biofield, uh, biophotons, how the body's con communicating uh, through light, the living matrix that were, you know, this, uh, this cellular connection, uh, connect connection, but extracellular connection, and, you know, and also the quantum aspect and this idea, you know, which ancient civilizations have have known, which is just accepted that we can communicate over distance, over very long distance, uh, through what scientists are now calling uh, the quantum field. So, so much science there and so much to do with that science in a, in a very practical way. Yeah, and I love that you're so evidence-based and are bringing that into the conversation because I think there's a lot of people that are, even like myself, that are very evidence-based that in the past, have been very turned off, very kind of resistant to accepting this energy field or quantum physics or, or you know, what have you. They just, people can very easily chalk it up as the realm of, oh, crystal energy, woo-woo <laughs> type stuff, and especially some of the modalities that are used to elicit changes and effects and shifts in the body's energy field. I think people tend to more often than not discount them or dismiss them, but now we have more and more emerging evidence. When we search PubMed, I mean, you type in bioenergetics. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of research going on in this exciting field. And I truly believe bioenergetics is the future of medicine. And uh, so can you talk a little bit about where EMF or electromagnetic fields play into this and act on our body and how when we work on you know, improving our body's energy field or uh, optimizing our body's energy field, how that 
gives us some sort of, you know, minimization of the effects of EMF. So, you know, EMFs impact us in, in so many ways, but they impact us at this cellular level, that's for sure. Uh, they're impacting the cell membrane. A lot of research on that. Dr. Martin Paul, I've talked to you about that before. There is just really so much science on this. I mean, even going back to post-Second World War, in fact, during the Second World War, the Germans were reputed to have done quite a bit of research on the radar operators uh, on how this uh, was impacting their eyesight, notably creation of uh, cataracts. Uh, but obviously, it's just got more advanced since then. There's such a body of science now uh, behind this. And what's unfortunate is that most people have got this understanding, which has been put out by mainstream media, by our governments, by uh, you know, con the conventional sources, if you want, that it's only this heating effect which, which, uh, which is significant, which is important. It's, it's only if we actually heat you know, this thermal effect, if we heat the cells, then we've got the damage. Which is, which is ludicrous because we've got thousands of studies which are showing that we've got these adverse biological effects, so, uh, which is effects on the cells, effects on the DNA, effects on enzyme, on this uh, voltage-gated calcium channel, this whole mechanism which Dr. Martin Paul has discovered, put two and two together, really, this, it was all there. He just kind of put two and two together. So, yeah, so e EMFs affect us on this really fundamental level and they affect us very quickly and they affect everybody and the effect is cumulative. Doesn't that sound like bad news? And it is, it is. And that's why it is bad news if, if, we're, not, if we're not doing something about it. And these EMFs with everything else that we're doing, of course, everything else, you know, this modern life that we're living, these processed foods that we're eating, uh, this air pollution that we're all subjected to, this virus maybe that's out there that's killing people, all these different toxins. Anyway, that's what I prefer to, how I prefer to look at it. And in my book, you know, I say that EMFs are the mother of all toxins because they've got this exponential effect uh, on our health. And that's why I've given them this important place on my event, because that's, that's what they deserve. Because people, people, you know, are so attached to their cell phones, are so attached to this technology, you know, they're rolling out 5G and, and like nobody's batting an eyelid hardly. They're, we, every, you know, everybody thinks it's great. And it is great in a sense in maybe what we can do, but boy, in terms of, you know, what it's gonna be doing to our health. Okay, we haven't got cast iron facts because we don't have the studies, but we do have studies on this radio frequency microwave radiation. We do have studies on this millimeter wave, which the 5G is going to be using, uh, but we don't have, this is like we're in uncharted waters with, with what's going on with the 5G because you know, we, we're inflicting this on, on the globe, pretty much. We're putting satellites into space, over 60,000 satellites into space, and we're putting all these small cells in cities Every third or fourth house is going to be these little antennas just outside your bedroom window, emitting these frequencies, zapping people with these frequencies, which are going to do Lord knows what. Well, we've got a really clear idea. We've got a really good idea because there's so much science there already telling us, you know, what these, what these effects are. Um, so, so with this summit, it's an opportunity to protect yourself from this, deal with this EMF question and also dig deeper and uh, start to ex explore some energy work and bring that into, your li into life too. And with the two, then that's really what I believe uh, we, can, we can do. And it's really about helping humanity. This is how I see this. It's just so important because we're, we seem to really just going in the wrong direction with this whole, because people are getting sicker and sicker and the solutions which are being offered clearly do not work and and clearly what is you know this this fundamental understanding that we're energy beings that we're the frequencies are impacting us and we need to start protecting ourselves from these these harmful frequencies and tapping into these beneficial frequencies it's really as simple as that yeah and i i'm very very concerned with the coming of these satellites more and more going up every single month 
And I, I'm very concerned about the effects they're going to have on people's sleep, their mood, the function of their body. People are going to be going into droves, uh, in droves to their, their doctor, and their doctor is not looking at this huge underlying root cause. So it's, it's so important, I think, that you're doing this because people need to learn how their body really works on that energy level and a lot of different tools that they can use to protect from this growing threat. This is the increase of EMF in their environment. And that's really what personally most of my free time is spent on how to correct my energy field and protect from EMF and different strategies to do that. And so that's why I, I love that you're hosting the Healing with Vibration Summit. Can you talk about some of your favorite talks from uh, the summit? Yeah, of course. So just to chip in there, I'm the same. And obviously, if I'm doing this, it's because, you know, I'm, I'm walking the talk here. This is what I've been doing for a long time. And the number of people that uh, I've, so I became electrically hypersensitive. You know, it was, I went through living hell you know, reacting to everything, not just my cell phone, my computer, the TV, the radio in the car, the corded landline, everything. So if I'm living like normally now, and obviously I'm living different to many people, and, and, and I can go into that a little bit if you want. So yeah, there are solutions. And, you know, so with me, it was electrical hypersensitivity. But with you, it's it can be, you know, it can be heart problems. Uh, it can be digestive problems. It can be, as you say, insomnia. Uh, it can be so many, you know, impact, EMFs can impact us in so many ways. And obviously, uh, serious diseases, cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, you know, just so many different diseases. And there, there is studies, but there are studies behind this. But yeah, in terms of the, the talks, well, 50 talks, honestly, it's like, you know, it's a bit like saying, which is your favorite child? Because all of the talks are, honestly, there isn't one which isn't amazing in some way. And um, yeah, there is one really, which I think has got the ramifications of it are, are, are significant. And that is my talk with uh, Lynn Mataggart. And the, my talk with Lynn Mataggart, and Lynn Mataggart is a, an amazing lady who's a journalist. By I training. love her. She's so brilliant. <laughs> She's amazing. I was very fortunate to get her on. And uh, she's this journalist by training, and she just stumbled into this really through her own experiences. And how many times, honestly, the number of people I get on, be they researchers, scientists, medical doctors, whatever it is, if they've gone down this avenue, it's because of their own personal experiences. Um, and it's the same with her. And this miraculous healing that she experienced, she started exploring it. And she started exploring it. I mean, she literally she was blown away she couldn't believe by what she discovered with these experiments which she be which she was running i think from like 2007 and she's now actually done 33 studies with prestigious universities to make sure that nobody's going oh yeah but you know it's fixed whatever you know like princeton and penn state and uh, University of California Arizona universities in uh, Russia China so you know she's really done this properly and 33 studies and 29 out of the 33 studies are showing measurable significant effects many measurable significant benefits and the four which didn't by the way there was a problem with the study Okay, so it wasn't like it didn't work. There was a problem with the study. So what, what, it, what, what is this? You know, what, why is it important? Well, it's just people getting together with an intention to heal somebody. And initially, it was a lot of people all over the world on computers, and she got servers crashing and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, and then one night she was having a chat with her husband, and she said, well, this is getting too big. We need to do it smaller. And he's like a copywriter guy. And they were churning, you know, exchanging ideas. Well, oh, let's call it Power of Eight. And that's where they got, so they started doing groups of eight. And then they noticed with groups of eight people, they got the same miraculous effects. And we're talking people that have been in wheelchairs for years, getting up out of wheelchairs, suddenly walking. People with IBS suddenly no got problems anymore. People with arthritis, arthritis gone. And literally, not always, but sometimes overnight, 
So they're doing this thing in different locations, eight people, an intention, a healing intention to somebody in another location, and that person overnight, miraculous healing. What's more, there's another thing which is important here. Perhaps this is the most important thing, is that, in fact, there's several things really important, but everybody who was doing this, none of these people were trained meditators, trained, these are just really, you know, ordinary Joes and Julies, or whatever, Jonas or Joannas. <laughs> um, they were ordinary people, and uh, ordinary people, they were explained, they were, so there's a certain protocol to respect, which is not particularly difficult, Anybody can do it. And the amazing thing was, and here's the amazing thing, is that not only was the people, so if, if you, Wendy, and so you're in the middle, and then we've got, let's say, me and seven other people directing healing at you, or six other people, whatever it is, you know, to get this eight, okay? Not only does Wendy get healed miraculously, not always, but most of the time, okay? But all the people that are doing the healing do too. And it's free. And there are no side effects. And anybody can do it. Did I say that already? <laughs> so that's why, for me, that, this, uh, that's why I was really, as I read the book, Power of Eight, I read the previous books as well. And, um, and the ramifications for this, and you know, for me, it's just, I can't speak about this enough because this kind of underlines this notion that we're all a healer. And I really believe this. And I've had my own experiences as a healer uh, because I discovered that. So I, I started playing around with uh, energy and stuff with my family and things, you know. And then I realized I could do things with my hands. And then I went beyond that. And it was with my mother one time. And she got a really bad back. And I rang her this night. And she was like, so I live in France. And I can't remember if they're in Spain or Portugal. And she'd, she'd slipped in the shower or she'd gone down to get the soap, something like that. And her back had just, she just seized up. She couldn't move. And I, uh, I rang her and she said, oh, I'm in agony. And I said, oh dear. And uh, this was like 7.30 in, e in the evening. And this was about 10 years ago, this happened. And uh, anyway, we had this conversation. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't say I was going to do anything. Put the phone down. And then I just... I just thought, I'll give this a go. i see if I can do anything, you know, long distance. And I gave it a go. And I just went into this feeling, like a loving feeling, a very deep, moving thing, something I can, I can actually do quite easy, just naturally. And I, I did this. And I called her the next morning. I said, how are you doing? She says, I'm doing okay. I said, what about your back? She said, well, it went. I said, when, when did it go? Well, just after I spoke to you. <laughs> so I told her. And then she was like, I mean, we both knew that that was it. It was too, too strong a coincidence. So yeah, and just many, many stories I could share like that. My own stories, other people's stories. So we're all healers. And that's why Lin, the Lin Matagat talk really underlines that. And uh, we have, you know, there's all these terrible things which are going on in the world. People are suffering unnecessarily. And yet the tools are out there really to stop all this for nothing very easily. It's, it's amazing. Lynn McTaggart is totally evidence-based also. She's an investigative journalist and she wrote the book, The Field, which is just a seminal work that kind of tries to prove the body's energy field. It's just a, a amazing. And, and there's so many other amazing talks on the Healing with Vibration Summit. I talk about different strategies to protect from EMF and the, the body field and how that relates to bioenergetics as well. Um, but so if anyone wants to participate and learn more about uh, the Healing with Vibration Summit, where do they start? Like, when does the summit begin? So this summit is free and online from the 22nd of September until the 28th. So it's a seven day event. And over those seven days, you get access to all of this, all these 50 speakers. So uh, healingwithvibrationsummit.com. Go to that page. Just check it out. You'll see already you get eight free bonuses uh, just for signing up. One of them actually is the, is the Lynn Taggart interview. Again, 
because I just want people to see this. You know, I want as many people to see this, even if they don't watch any of the Summit Witch Follows, at least just please watch that. Honestly, it just blows you, just blow, blow anybody away. You had 200,000 people come to your EMF Health Summit that you put on like a year or two ago. And so I know there's going to be so many people at this event. You guys do not want to miss this. You need to know this information. Even if you're, maybe you guys have heard me talk about the energy field and bioenergetics a lot over the last three or four years. And, you know, there's always more to learn. There's always a really interesting new protocols and researchers around the world making amazing discoveries and progress in in validating scientifically validating all of these things that you're talking about on the healing with vibration summit so i applaud you for putting this together so you guys uh, you want to tune into this Thank and what you, is yes. the website what's the website Where are so we the website healing with vibration summit.com healing Fantastic. with vibration summit.com or one okay. word Okay, great. Well, Lloyd, thank you so much for coming on the show and educating us further about the, the energy field and how EMF affects that and whatnot. So thanks for coming on. Thanks so much, Wendy. Thanks for the invitation. And everyone, thank you so much for tuning in every week to the Meyer Detox podcast. So we talk about everything related to heavy metal and different toxins and EMF is certainly a growing toxic threat, which is why I'm talking about it more and more and more. So thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys next week. The Myers Detox podcast is created and hosted by Wendy Myers. This podcast is for information purposes only. Statements and views expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Wendy Myers and the producers, disclaim responsibility for any possible adverse effects from the use of information contained herein. Opinions of guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. Individuals on this podcast may have direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical problem, consult a licensed physician.